console commands are an essential tool if players on PC want to enable cheat codes in Starfield. All the good stuff is here, like clearing the bounties on your head, enabling god mode, spawning and modifying any weapon that you want, and more. Here's how to enable cheats using console commands in Starfield. Before we start, let's lay down some ground rules. First, be aware that activating certain cheats will disable your opportunity to earn achievements, so you won't be able to cheese your way through to that 1000 gamer score. The game keeps track of which save files have been and have not been modified by console commands though. Simply press B from the load menu to see your most recent unmodified save file. This way, you can always go back if you want to start earning achievements again. Through our testing, it seems that you can't activate console commands on Xbox, even if you plug in a keyboard, so this will only work on PC. Also, the complete list of available commands is absolutely immense, so we won't be including every code that we have found in this video. If you want to see a more detailed list of commands, such as full lists of item and modification codes, be sure to check out our cheats page in our Starfield guide on IGN, which we'll have a link for in the description. We'll also be referencing it multiple times in this video. Finally, keep in mind that using console commands can have adverse effects on your gameplay. While capturing this video, I was able to soft lock my character twice, and reloading a current save did not fix the issue, meaning I had to go back even further to escape the consequences of my actions. So, while most of these codes should be fine to use, maybe get in the habit of quick saving before trying anything drastic. To use cheats in Starfield, you need to bring up the terminal. You do this by pressing the tilde key, which is the button that sits just below the escape key, or next to the 1 key. With the terminal open, you can now input console commands, which are effectively the game's cheat codes. There are simple codes that enable or disable certain effects, and there are also more complicated commands that require a bit of know-how. But either way, you simply type in a given command and press enter to enable whatever code it was that you typed in. To start, let's go over some of the easiest and most powerful commands that you can use in-game. Toggle Immortal Mode. Toggle God Mode. Toggle Detect. Toggle Combat AI. Set character level. Unlock doors and containers. This unlocks the currently targeted door or container. Click on the object you want unlocked while the terminal is up, then write unlock. You know it has worked when the name of the object is mentioned in the terminal log. Add items to inventory. Show the sleep slash wait menu. Open the character creator. Clear faction bounties. Okay, no bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. This is murder! You're on your own! Kill all hostiles. Kill all NPCs. Resurrect. Click on a dead NPC with the console open to grab their ID, then type Resurrect. This brings them back to life, although they may look a little bit different than before. Toggle free fly camera. Toggle no clip. Now, spawning in a completely overpowered arsenal is like Cheats 101, but in Starfield, it gets a bit more complex. To start with, every piece of equipment has a unique item code. You can find a list of codes in our guide to help you spawn in whatever weapon you like the sound of. But let's say, as an example, we decide to spawn in a mag shot. To do this, we need to use the command player.placeatme, followed by a space, followed by the item code, then another space followed by a number, which represents how many of the item you want to spawn. For the mag shot, this code would be 0002, EB42. The full command would read player dot place at me space 0002 EB42 space 1. And that spawns one mag shot. This will spawn a common version of the weapon, which does have the chance to spawn with standard mods. So feel free to reuse the code to get a version of the gun with mods that you like. 
or use the quantity value to spawn 10 at once. Also, incidentally, this is the same code that you would use to spawn enemies and creatures as well. You just use their item ID instead of the mag shot. But back to the mag shot. Let's say you have some specific mods in mind that you want to attach to this weapon. Turns out there's codes for that too. To modify a piece of equipment using console commands, bring up the console and then, with the weapon on the ground in front of you, place your cursor over the item and click on it. For our mag shot, it read as WEAP.FF065A98. Your code may be different. Then, to add a modification, you then type .amod, then a space, and then the specific code that you need for the modification that you want. So, to add high velocity rounds to our mag shot, we open the terminal, click on the weapon in front of us, and then add .amod 0006ABE4. Press enter, and your mag shot now has high velocity rounds. To remove the mod, you would use the same command, but change the A mod command to R mod instead. Now, to add unique abilities, such as corrosive or instigator modifiers, the process is similar, but there are a few caveats. These are the modifiers that determine if a piece of equipment that you find is rare, legendary, or exotic. But right now, we only know how to add a single modifier, which means this method will, at best, net you a rare piece of equipment. Be sure to check back in with our written guide as we update our cheats page on how to modify equipment further. To add a poison modifier to our mag shot, do the same process for the previous mods except using the code 003198AEC. Hopefully, armed with this info and our full list of codes, you can now create any set of equipment that your heart desires. That's it for this guide video, but as we mentioned, there are plenty more item IDs and console commands in our full written guide, so make sure to check out our Starfield wiki to make the most of these console commands. For more on Starfield, check out our guide on everything you need to know about shipbuilding. And for all other things gaming, keep it here on IGN.